In this tutorial for the meshing module, we will demonstrate how to create material properties on every element of the node based on the source image. We have loaded a mesh that was created using the meshing module for 3D Slicer. We will come to the right tab, Materials tab, select it, and say Image Based Material Properties. And see, we have a choice of how to define the image-based properties based on parameters that come from the voxel values. In order to do this, we need to import an image into the meshing module. So we'll do that here on the Images tab. And you see we say Import. This looks at any volume that's in the Mermel scene. So we click right here, and there's a, the image used to create this mesh is in the Mermel scene. We import that volume. Now that it's available, we go to image-based material properties. We could define a small set of elements that just encompass some of the elements of the mesh. However, for simplicity here, we'll choose all of them. We demonstrate through this interface that you can adjust the model parameters to give a different modulus. And also you can put, you can select binning, you can select a certain number of different intensity values that are allowed depending on the finite element solver to be used outside of Slicer. We have elected to leave this alone. Now we've created a set of material properties just by applying. Every mesh element has been given a material property based on the underlying image voxels of which it lies on top of. So here we're demonstrating the colors which indicate the values of the modulus and these values were based on the voxel values that cover the area of 3D space where the element lies. We can demonstrate this by using the cutting plane and showing that as we cut away the edges of the voxel values you'll see that the properties, the lower values of modulus inside the bone from the darker areas of the image and the higher values of the modulus right at the border regions of the image. Let me demonstrate that here by bring, zooming up a little bit and then we will turn on the image that goes along with this and we can take a look at how these image element values were brought in. So we, we zoom up here so we can see here we go. Now we can see the level of, we can see the image itself superimposed with the elements and how these elements were based on the voxel values for the underlying image. This is an easy and straightforward way to automatically apply material categories to all elements in a mesh or any elements in a mesh that are by hand selected. And now the mesh is ready for export into a finite element solver where material properties are already attached to each meshing element.